Good morning, Prime Time Squad. How's everybody doing this Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon, depending on where you are in this in the part of the world? Um, I just wanted to uh, give a brief little update on the Jasmine Elin and Dominique Williams um, review that I had did approximately about a week or so ago. Um, if you have not seen that video, please check that out. But Jasmine Elin had alleged that a Dominique Williams had sexually assaulted her and raped her in the middle of an Atlanta nightclub. And he had claimed that it didn't happen. There was video um, tapes of it. Jasmine was live the entire time, but she was under the influence of like um, a date rape drug or roofie or, you know, something like that. Um, the video was pretty graphic. I showed as much as I could <laughs> that I could uh, without having my channel flagged. Um, but again, you can check that video out if you want. But anywho, um, now I just want to show you a bit of piece of what his attorney had to say about the case because he has an attorney here that you see on the screen. So let me just play this little video clip real quick for you and then I'll be back. This to football players and also other club involving incidents. I have been chosen to represent Dominique Williams. When I say Dominique Williams, this goes to the incident that occurred at Opera Nightclub here in Atlanta, Georgia, involving a young woman by the name of Jasmine Island. So let's just talk a little bit about this. This brings us to this case and the reason why I'm actually here. Now, the goal is about truth. The goal is about evidence. The goal is about facts. Let's talk a little bit about the facts of this case. It's at a nightclub. It's at, it's dark. People are partying. People are having a good time. There was an incident that occurred. The facts of this case show that people are dancing. The facts of this case show that nothing happened. The facts of this case show that people standing around were not alerted when it comes to an assault, a sexual assault, or an actual rape. The facts of this case do not show that something occurred or that my client took Miss Island off and there was no distress. The facts of this case show that those standing around did not alert, call the police, get attention to a bodyguard, or stop any acts that occurred because there were no acts that actually occurred. Now, my client did not take Miss Island off to a room. There's witnesses and evidence that shows that there was aid being given by that room. The facts of this case do not show that my client led her off, abused her, misused her, or raped her, or sexually assaulted her. The facts of this case show that it was a cons consensual dance at the beginning. So why are we actually here though? In fact, after the actual taking her to the side of the room, the main thing is that the police were not called. In fact, Miss Jasmine Island entered a twerk contest. Not only did she dance afterwards with my client, she got on stage when she heard her song play and entered a twerk contest. There were several people around that even tried to pull her skirt down so that way she would not show her goods to the public. The facts of this case is that afterwards she went to eat with other guys. The facts of this case was that she has admitted that there was not a rape. My client has been crucified and my client has been convicted in the media. So I'm here to get down to the bottom of this and I do think the evidence will show otherwise that this was not a rape. I do believe and I do understand that sexual assault is a sensitive issue when it comes to the Me Too movement. But this is not about he too. This is not about my client being accused of rape because there was no rape. I do believe the evidence in this case will show that he assisted her, he aided her, he danced consensually with her. Moreover, my client and I have been in full cooperation and communication with the police department because we are trying to get to the truth at that as well. And I do believe that the evidence will show otherwise, but get this, there has been no probable cause to make an arrest 
on a rape. No probable cause or warrant that exists right now to make an arrest on a sexual assault. No probable cause or warrant to make an arrest on any type of sexual battery, sexual assault, or any type of sexual crime. And that is the truth. And that's why we're here today, to get to the bottom of the truth. Okay, prime time squad. Now that's what had happened. Um, he didn't got him an attorney. She's willing to defend him after the video was played and deleted. Um, some of the videos were deleted. You know, regarding her rape because it was live. Remember, it was live. And I had downloaded some of the videos, and I had also, you know, uploaded what I could on my channels um you know i couldn't show like the really graphic piece because again i didn't want my channel flag but everybody who saw the video most people most people realize this girl was raped she was drugged if you have not seen the videos check out my past video it's like a week or so ago jasmine elin dominique williams um justice for jasmine and look at the videos. Watch the, it's like three or four videos I uploaded. And from the very beginning, it shows her happy and drinking and dancing. And then it went all the way to her barely able to stand up. And only, she only had one and a half drinks. One and a half drinks. Um, And then you could just tell, you know, that he was doing something to her. She was screaming, no, stop, please help me. She was crying. She was terrified. She went from happy-go-lucky and having fun to screaming and crying and basically limp. Couldn't hold herself up. He was holding himself up. And there are still people out there, including this attorney, saying nothing happened. Nothing happened. Like, what video did she watch? But anywho, anywho, and she's talking about there's no evidence, there's nothing incriminating, there's no charges been filed, there's no, nothing to bring him up on any charges. Okay, okay, now let me show y'all this. See, what had happened was, Atlanta police said they have made an arrest after a video surfaced and claims a woman was sexually assaulted at Midtown nightclub at a Midtown nightclub, Dominique Williams, 34 years old, was taken into custody and charged with sodomy on Tuesday, a day after charges were filed. Atlanta police confirmed this Wednesday night. Investigators said the assault took place at the Opera Atlanta nightclub on the January 20th. Um, on January 20th and was streamed live on Facebook, which a lot of us saw. And one of the videos in particular was really graphic. It showed her vajayjay. It showed him putting spit on his fingers and reaching under her skirt. I mean, it showed all that. It showed all that. Um, Dominique, after those uh, videos were posted on her channel... I mean, on her Facebook page, her Facebook page was shut down. That's how graphic it was. I happened to copy and, you know, download the videos before that happened. And I and I said on my video that I did live a few weeks ago or a week or so ago. Um, it wasn't a few weeks because it just literally happened. So about a week ago, um, what I saw, J, her pubic hairs, I mean, you could see all that under her skirt because of the way he was holding her and she was hanging all limp and he was behind her doing his business. This man has been charged with sodomy. Sodomy. Now, y'all saw what his lawyer said and y'all see what he's being charged for. Did she speak too soon? Is Jasmine really going to get justice? What do y'all think? I'm still hearing and seeing... A lot of people also defending Dominique, the man. Like, I'm still seeing this, and it's so disgusting, the victim shaming that's going on in this particular case. Um, 
it's just so appalling the things people say. I mean, if y'all would hear the way she was crying, the way she was screaming, help me. I mean, if y'all would have heard that and then to find out she was sodomized, that definitely explains this girl sounded like she was being tortured, like she was terrified. Like she was in pain, like she was scared. She really wanted help. And then for some people out here to still be victim shaming, oh, she shouldn't have been there dancing and doing all this and flirting, being flirtatious and all this. The girl was drugged. And then she was like in and out, in and out, in and out because she was drugged. And if you saw the review I did yesterday on Jan Broberg, how she was drugged and raped and sexually assaulted, um, how you be in and out, in and out, in and out, conscious, unconscious, conscious, unconscious. That's why he was like, um, talking about, uh, when he did that phone interview, talking about, uh, it's hard to hold dead weight. Like he made a lot of mistakes when he took that phone interview the other day. Um, and one of them was, oh, it's hard to, you know, hold dead weight. But you talking about she was cool. She was fine. You was up there sucking on her neck, kissing all over her, feeling all her breasts, feeling all over her. And the girl was just gone. At times in and out. At other times just gone. Just hanging like a limp. Just like a limp doll, like a rag doll. While you were still doing what you what you wanted to do with her. I really, really hope justice is done for Jasmine. I really, really hope so. Um, here's another bigger pick of him. This is his mugshot. This is his mugshot. <sighs> it, it, it's just so sad. It's like... Women, we see it all the time. They scared to come forward or they wait forever to come forward because nobody believes them. Some people do, but a lot of times nobody believes them. And I am so glad that charges were brought up because obviously they have some evidence. That's why I was like, did his attorney watch the same video we watch? Did she? I mean, did she? She couldn't have watched the same videos. Um, talking about he was administering her help? Where on that video did you see him administering her help? I didn't see that anywhere. I didn't see that anywhere. But you know what? I'm glad there are some people in her corner and some people standing up for her. I knew from the very beginning when I saw that videotape, all of those videotapes of her live from the time that she entered the club, from her being a limp ragged out, knowing that the girl was drugged. I believed her and I still believe her. I absolutely believe her. And again, that would explain her screaming in pain. You could just tell this wasn't a normal cry it wasn't a normal cry it was like she was hurt like hurt i'll never get those sounds out of my head again if y'all haven't seen my earlier review on this matter please check out my videos go down the list look up jasmine elan there's another video i did um, when i first reported on this and just check the video out and you tell me what you think. But anyway, I do pray that justice will be served. Jasmine will get justice. She will get her day in court. The judge, the jury will find him guilty of not only rape and sodomy and sexual assault, but heck, they should, they should call that battery raping somebody sodomizing them and then the drugs mm, yeah I hope she gets her I hope justice is served for Jasmine I really do pray that she gets justice 
So anyway, you guys, make sure if you haven't liked the video already, please like the video. Please make sure you share the video. Please share the video. Thank you very kindly. Share it on your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter. And also, if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very kindly. I sure do appreciate it. And in the meantime and in between time, Primetime Squad, as usual, stay blessed, be safe, be safe, stay blessed, oh yeah, and stay warm. And I'm out.